fellow Sudokans and welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle. It's Sunday the 30th of March 2025. I hope you are keeping well and enjoying your weekend. It's still Sunday morning here in Bangkok and I never underestimate the power of the YouTube algorithm to sometimes get it really right. <laughs> just sometimes, just absolutely spot on. What am I talking about? Uh, I do often use um, YouTube to watch Stephen Colbert's monologue. Um, it's, it's often very funny. Um, and uh, uh, when he, I don't watch him with the guests so much, that, um, sometimes, but not often. I don't think he's that good with that. But I do think his, his monologue is very funny and uh, appropriate as well. Um, and uh, he has a band there. Uh, led by Louis Cato, who usually plays the electric guitar. And uh, as the monologue finishes, it always finishes, plays out with a tune which is often jazz or funk. But I often recognize some old jazz standards that he's doing very well there. And, and especially if someone's died on a particular day, I notice that they always play a song by that person, if it's a jazz musician or a soul musician or something like that. And... Um, uh, it's it's very good, and then sometimes if I do watch it with the guests, I notice when the guests are introduced, they have a small, a short part of a song, a ditty. But that's all I can see on YouTube. I don't have the full program, and, and I don't know if it just switches to commercials when the band is playing. Um, but obviously, the band plays for to entertain the uh, live audience there, and, and the Col uh, Stephen Colbert, um, whatever it's called, late night with I think it's called. Um, anyway. Uh, I often watch YouTube um, tiny NPR tiny desk concerts. That's one thing that's really upsetting me about uh, the possibility of NPR finding it difficult to survive um, in the US because they have a series of tiny desk concerts that you can find on YouTube. And these are just in the office, kind of uh, concerts made by people in the office. And this, you get some really good, su surprisingly wonderful um, artists playing there. And now I've got to add Louis Cato to that group because um, this morning I just was it suggested um, Louis Cato and I thought, oh, that's the guy who sounds very good from uh, Stephen Colbert's show. I, I enjoy his tunes. I don't really know much about him. And then played the video and was not. it was not how I expected it. It has more of a folk type feel rather than a funk type feel but also some elements of folk and uh, funk and stuff like that in it and what a voice he's got what a voice what a songwriter wow wow <laughs> it's great it's really great it's so nice to be surprised um, you know, on a Sunday morning when you've got nothing better to do than just <laughs> click on a video and get something really surprisingly excellent, um, really good. So uh, I would recommend that you search for and check out um, Louis Cato and Tiny Desk Concert, NPR Tiny Desk Concert, and uh, be amazed by the talent that man has. All right. Let's get on with the game of Sudoku. This is the New York Times uh, hard level puzzle for a Sunday. When I can see something useful, I'll let you know what that useful thing is. I can see lots of um, useless things at the moment, but <laughs> I'm not going to tell you those, am I? All right, well, I'll tell you what I can see, which may or may not be useful. I don't know, but we've got one and eight blocking across there, and we've got one and eight blocking up here. So that's how I'm going to start with something, at least. We've got one and eight in these squares here. Oh, yeah, that will give me something. We've got one and eight here. So when the nine blocks across there and there, that's going to give us a nine in that square. Let's consider again one and eight. So these will be two, three, and six. Um, so six there, there, three there, there, two, not sure yet. Yeah. 
Now, how about down here then? So we get ones down there. Oh, we get eights down there as well. And we've got an eight blocking. So in fact, we get eight in that square there. We get the one there. So now three blocking those squares there will give us three in that square. And as I said before, this is one and eight. So we'll be left with um, um, two and six in those squares. Can we, can we, can we? No, we can't just yet. Two and six. Okay. So the missing digits here are two and seven. So that will give us twos down. Oh, no, no, it won't. Sorry, I'll take that back. Don't know about the twos yet. Give us sevens over there somewhere. We've got three across here, across here, and down there. So we'll get three in that square. Oh, I, I just said we've got seven blocking down it. So we've got seven in one of these squares blocking up and seven across there. So we'll get seven in that square. And we are left with a two. So when the six blocks here, six has got to be in one of those squares blocking up here. So that would be our six. This would be our two. And two blocking down and across there gives us two in that square. So four, five left in here. Seven, nine, somewhere over there. We've got another pair. We've got eight and nine blocking down here. And we've got eight and nine across there. So that'll give us a pair of eight and nine in those squares. What does it mean? It means the four will be here or here. Do we, do we know anything about, about the fours? Uh, so that gives us fours in those squares. One, six. Uh, no. Uh, anyway, back here, what was I saying? Uh, eight and nine in those squares there. What else do we know? Okay, we've got three across here now. And three across here. Okay, where, what was the eight and nine? I've got to look at it again. Eight, nine in these squares, right? So three blocking here, three blocking there. That's got to be a three. We'll be left with threes in those squares up there. Again, eight, nine. So six blocks across here. So six is in one of these squares blocking across here. Six across here. There is our six. And now I just said four is in one of these two squares blocking across. So that'll be our four. That'll be our five. This will be our five down there. Uh, four, seven, nine left there. Can't get those yet. Uh, right, back again. That was a useful pair, that 8 9, wasn't it? Um, and so we've got 2, 4, and 6 blocking across here. That puts 2, 4, and 6 in those squares. Remember, this is 8 and 9. 2, 4, 6, that's a 1. Now we've got 1 and 7 across here, 1 and 7 across there. That's a pair of 1 and 7 in those squares. Um,
time to wander through in a more orderly way. So what we know about twos are they are in these squares, uh, these squares like that. Try to remember that. Threes are like this. I said that before. I think fours are in those squares. I pointed that out already. Then I fours are not much use. Fives, apart from being here. Okay, this is the only possibility for a six. Uh, okay, so how do we know this? Six blocks like this. Okay, so six is in one of these two squares. So six is forbidden here, six is forbidden there, six is forbidden there, and six is not allowed there. So that's got to be a six. And we'll be left with four and two in those squares. If you remember, we said before four and two. This was eight and nine, right? So four and two, four blocking down there. There's the four, there's the two two down here down there across and across will give us two in that square there one blocking down here down here and across there there's one Uh, we've got five blocking this square and this square, so in this row there's our five. Five up, five across here, and across there will give us five in that square. Five to the top, and across the top row will give us a five there, and then five across the top two rows will say this must be a five. And then five down here, looks like five is going to be our first number to be knocked out. Okay, it was. There's a TKO for digit five. How are we doing on six? Eight up, down, and across gives an eight here, and so now we can see eight blocking that square. That's our eight. That's our nine. No. And then we can't do anything else. <laughs> um, four blocks this square. We need a four in that row. There's a four. Finish that row with a two. Two blocking up here, up here, and across, and across there gives us. The last digit two. One more number to go there. That's a nine, I think. All right, two and five are finished. Everything else still to play for. So let's uh, just go through bit by bit and see if we can see anything like that. Yep, the three is blocking up here and across here. Put three into one of these two squares blocking across and three down there will give us three in that square. Uh, 
eight blocks this square here so in this column there's our eight back down here I think it's a six that we need and we also have six blocking up here so there's a six and this will be seven and back down here for a seven as well four blocks this square there's our four missing digit here is a nine uh, seven blocks this square so in this column there's our seven back up for a one one across here there's the one this will be eight that was something we found early on that's the last digit eight all right uh, so two five and eight are done any singles that we can get I'm not sure they're all doubles aren't they and all pairs I mean so let's see one can we can we not sure three can we can we yep three across there and three up there so there's our three and the missing number here is a seven seven blocking down there's a seven this would be a one one down there's a one and this would be six <coughs> six back up put six into that square and this is four I think four blocking across there means that's a four and we'll be left here with a nine nine across there gives nine in that square seven to finish oh well that's much easier than I've seen of recent days which is either that or I've just woken up a bit on a Sunday and I've been asleep for the last couple of days I'm not sure or lacking concentration or something anyway that's it take care bye bye